hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to install windows application on your android device okay so lately i've been getting dms from people asking me how they can you know install windows application and use them on your android phone so in this video i am going to be showing you just that and um if you're new to this channel we upload videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking and programming so if you're interested in this niche click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so without further ado Let's get to the video. Welcome back. I'm um, starting from the very first place. The first thing we need to do is install Exagear. To install Exagear, I'm going to paste the media file link in the description below. Copy and paste the link and download the best in tech Exagear from there, okay? So click on the download icon right there and um, you're going to wait for the download to start. And um, the download has started as you can see. So you're going to click on details. It is a 274 MB zip file. Okay. So you're going to download that. And once the download is finished, you're going to um unzip it with the RAR application. I'm also going to paste the link to the RAR application in the description below. So navigate to your download folder and um, you know mark the RAR application and extract it. So you're going to be requested to enter a password because it is a password protected file so the password is bad for you i'm also going to paste this password in the description below so that you can easily get it you know in case you forgot so um after extracting the file you can now you know open your file manager application okay so this is my file manager application i'm going to just navigate to downloads now and as you can see right the basic tech exact here so the first thing you're going to do is um you're going to copy the com.ltext.ed file you're going to move that file to the obb folder okay so to move it to the obb folder click on move to then locate android android in your home directory now this is android and you're going to move it to the obb folder you're going to see the obb folder there okay and um after that you're going to install the exaget 302 update.apk okay you're going to install that and once the installation is finished you can now you know locate exaget in your application list now you're going to click on exaget and um you're going to give it permission to your storage and it is going to start up okay now once exaget has been launched you're going to click on manage containers okay and you're going to click on the plus button right there and um you're going to click on the three dots and um you're going to you know click on properties and here you can edit your container you know profile so you can change the name of the container if you wish i'm just going to make the name of the container bed and um, i'm going to change the screen resolution to 16 ratio 9 and um, i'm going to make it 32 bits and the touchpad you're going to use the cp10 touchpad okay so just follow everything that i did here and click on run explorer and um, what is important to note is the default controls here. As you can see, to left click, you need to short tap. To right click, you need to long tap and release. To scroll, you need to short tap and move. To drag and drop, you need to long tap and move. To zoom, you need to, you know, pinch in with your two fingers. Long tap and move. To bring out your keyboard, you need to tap the screen with your two fingers. And um, to bring out the toolbar, just like the toolbar is showing right now, you need to tap the screen with three fingers, okay? So it is important to know this because you're going to be needing it, you know, to use Exagear. So now that that has been said, we can now proceed to the installation of the graphic card because you're going to need the graphic card to run, you know, um, application that requires 3D access, okay? To install the graphic card, you're going to realize that by default, if you launch um, Exagear, it is going to open the file explorer. So um, click on the base in tech Exagear folder, okay? Click on that. And um, install the Exagear DirectX11.exe application, okay? So you're going to just click on next, next, and um, you're going to install that. So that is it. Now that that has been installed, you know, you can now continue using Exagear, you know, as you wish, okay? So now um, I'm going to show you a few things. By clicking on the start button in your panel and clicking on run, um, you're going to open a window. On that window, if you type the command winecfg, winecfg, and you click on OK, it is going to, you know, prompt you to choose the Windows version that you want to use. So from here, you can select the, you know, preferred Windows version that you like. So I'm um, ranging from Windows 10, Windows XP, Windows 8, Windows 7, and so forth. So that is how to select your preferred Windows version. And if you want to open your file manager, you're going to repeat the same process. But this time around, you're going to type the Explorer command. 
and um, that command is going to you know open your your file manager so um to access your you know your files your internal storage files you're going to click on the folder d right there and that folder d is your download folder so anything you're going to be installing on exaga make sure you save them in your download folder all right so um as you can see i want to install the mpp notepad right now the notepad plus plus so to install it you're going to you know follow the prompt as you were shown in the beginning of the video and um, you're going to click on next you're going to click on next and you're going to install that is how you install applications you know using exagear so um, i'm going to wait for this application to launch you now so that you can see how it goes okay um chill a little bit okay so um it has been launched and as you can see the notepad plus plus is you know it is up and running so this is how you install windows application on your android device uh, let's assume you do not have a pc or your pc is not available and you need to quickly run a windows application you know you can just easily do it this way so now um, i'm going to exit and um, the fun thing about this is by clicking on desktop you can easily access the applications you've previously installed and you know you can run them directly from the exact gear start menu okay so you just click on the three dots icon right there and then you know you launch the application so um to create a new container just click on manage containers click on the cross icon and uh, that is going to create a new container for you so let us assume that you didn't want to use your previous container for a particular program you want to run you know you can just easily create a new container and you know use that container and you know modify it the way you want to use it okay and to delete any container you no longer use you know just click on the three dot icon and click on delete and that is going to delete the container and every file in it so um that is it this is how you know install windows application on your android device i hope you found this helpful if you do click the subscribe button below and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video um so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye